The average person spends around six to seven hours a day using the internet and billions of people are using Google Chrome as their preferred browser. But only very few people are using Chrome extensions that actually help to increase their productivity and simplify daily work. So in this video, I share my top four Chrome extensions that I use to be more productive and organized at work and that you should not miss out either. On the surface, this might just look like a list of random Chrome extensions, but in fact, I have chosen them very carefully to fit mine and your need of getting the most possible done in the least amount of time and, of course, in the best possible quality. How is this even possible, you might think? So let me show you how those four extensions perfectly complement each other. So we all know how tempting it can be to get distracted by social media, news websites, or other time-wasting platforms when we should be focusing on important tasks. That's exactly what this first Chrome extension supports you with. It's called BlockSite and helps you regain control of your online habits by primarily allowing you to block specific websites. The extension differentiates between generally blocking websites and blocking websites only if you turn on an awesome feature called Focus Mode. We will come back to that focus mode later. But first, let's see what the general blog site feature offers. In the free version of blog site, you can block three items. An item can be a website or a URL that contains a specific keyword, such as booking, when you want to prevent yourself from serving too many travel websites, or you could specify your favorite sports, such as basketball, so you cannot check any of the related news and sport content sites for you to surf and spend time on. In the unlimited version, you can also block whole categories like social to block all social media websites. If you only want to block specific websites during the day, when you are working or studying, you can set a schedule where you define in which times and days the defined items should be blocked. This helps to really focus on the actual work to get things done without being drawn to any distracting websites. The second main feature is Focus Mode, which has an integrated Pomodoro timer that lets you customize its time settings. This means you could do a classical Pomodoro session with 25 minutes on and 5 minutes off, or other timings that you might prefer such as 40 minutes on and 5 minutes off. During focus mode, you can additionally block four websites in the free version. This means that all generally blocked websites are also blocked in focus mode as long as you are working at a time the general blocking feature is scheduled for. By eliminating the time that I would spend on websites procrastinating and distracting myself from the actual work that needs to get done, BlogSite helps me to maintain my focus and stay productive to stay on track with my work and personal goals. I'm totally fine with blocking in total seven websites in the free version, but if you want to use BlogSite with no limitations, the full version is not very expensive at $3.99 per month. And by the way, you will find a link to all extensions I'm covering below in the video description. So step one of your Chrome productivity setup is completed by having set up blog site. But what if a website is not blocked and you might stumble upon an interesting article or video but doesn't have time to read or watch it now? In this case, I use the Chrome extension Pocket, which allows you to save articles videos and web pages for later. I recommend pinning the Pocket Chrome extension to the extension bar so you have it always at hand and can store content from any website with a single click. To pin an extension by clicking on the puzzle icon on the top left in Chrome to see all your extensions and then clicking on pin. When saving an item to Pocket, you can also add one or multiple tags such as fitness, entertainment or news for better organization. To access all your saved items, you can just click right on the taskbar icon and select Open Pocket Saves. Or you can create a bookmark on your bookmarks bar to the respective website so you can access your saved items with just one click. Saving websites, articles, and other informations or videos that you want to read or view later is only a fraction of what Pocket offers. Pocket also suggests single articles in the Discover section and groups of articles called Connections 
in their application that we will not cover in this video. We will focus on Pocket's key feature and the saved items that you can access under Saves. To organize all your saved items, you can either create a specific list, for example, for private or professional information or by topic, and save the items to that list and you can add text to the items again. For example, this means that you might end up with a list for private information, so with different articles that are tagged with different things, like news, fitness, or anything else. Since this is a super high-level example, let me know in the comments if you want to know how I organize my items in Pocket. In this case, I will cover the topic in one of my next newsletters. And if you do not want to miss this, you can subscribe to my free newsletter via the link in the info box below. Pocket differentiates between different saved items in the Filters section. On the Filters, you can also access, for example, your archive that contains your completed items. So if you, for example, read an article or watched a video, you can either delete them or move it to the archive. So if you're not sure if you want to access the item in the future again, don't delete it, but move it to the archive. The Favorites folder contains all items that you marked as your favorites, for example, because you want to read them during the week or because they contain very important information that you don't want to miss. Important to know is that if you archive an item that is a favorite, this item is copied and not moved from your Favorites folder to the Archive folder. Therefore, this item is still in your Favorites folder, even if you have moved it to the Archive. To keep your Favorites folder clean, my suggestion is to unfavorite an item when you move it to the Archive. Of course, if you delete one of your favorites, you do not have this problem. In most cases, if you're reading an article, only a few parts of the article are really interesting. So if you open a saved article, only the plain text is open in Pocket instead of the website itself. In the open article in Pocket, you can highlight parts of the text that you find most valuable. In Pocket 3 version, you can mark three highlights per article. Pocket Premium, that you can buy for $45 per year, has no limitations regarding the number of highlights that you can make. The last two filters in Pocket are only for the type of items that you saved. You find all articles in Articles and all videos in Videos. Overall, Pocket is a great Chrome extension to save information from the internet to read it later. A great feature is that Pocket is available for Android and iOS so that your items are synced across your devices. So you can catch up on your saved content anytime, anywhere, and even if you're offline. It's like having your personal digital library at your fingertips. So with Blogsite in combination with Pocket, you're able to be laser focused and collect any potentially valuable information in the midst of a busy day. Now let's see how you can fix and improve your output on such a day as well. Where Pocket is a great extension for reading, Grammarly is, in my opinion, the best extension for writing. Whether you're writing something in your Chrome browser, like an important email, drafting a document, or even composing a social media post, Grammarly acts as your personal grammar and spelling assistant. With Grammarly, you can avoid embarrassing typos and grammatical errors, ensuring your message comes across accurately and professionally. By eliminating errors and improving your writing skills, Grammarly saves time that contributes to your overall productivity. Simply install the Chrome extension and Grammarly checks your writing in real time, offers suggestions to improve your grammar, spelling, and punctuation. If you also want to use Grammarly in your Microsoft Office products like Word or Outlook, you can additionally install the desktop app. I personally only use the free version of Grammarly, but you can also upgrade to the premium version that offers features like tone suggestions, full sentence rewriting, and ensures that your text is consistent in spelling and sounds natural and even more fluent. Having fixed and improved your writing output with Grammarly, let's look at the final piece of the puzzle and see how you can maintain that focus and clarity that you have set with the first extension block site. So if you're someone who struggles to stay motivated or focused during the day, the extension Momentum can be a game changer. This extension replaces your default homepage with a visually pleasing dashboard that includes a to-do list, inspirational quotes, and a customizable background. With Momentum, you can turn your online sessions into purposeful 
and focused experiences, enabling you to accomplish more and feel a sense of achievement. One great thing about Momentum is that you do not even have to sign up for an account if you do not want to synchronize your account between different devices. Having Momentum installed, open a new tab in your Chrome browser where you will see a clock and a greeting in the middle of the site. You can switch between the 12-hour or the 24-hour clock by clicking on the three dots on the right side of the clock that appears when you hover over the clock with your mouse. On the left side of the clock, you can replace the clock with a Pomodoro timer, which is, however, only available in the Plus version of Momentum that you can buy for $3.33 per month. The free version also has a percentage feature that shows the percentage of time that has passed based on your working hours that you can set in the settings. The default working hours are between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. So for example, if you leave those default working hours and it's 2 p.m., the percentage will show 62.5% of your working time being five out of eight hours that have already elapsed. Talking about settings, you can open the settings by clicking on the gear wheel on the bottom left of the page. The working times can be defined in the balance tab. The to-do list feature is at the bottom right side of the window. Just click on the to do button and you can open your current to do list and add elements to it. With the plus version of Momentum, you can integrate applications like Todoist, Trello, Google Tasks, and many more so that you do not have two separate to do lists. Also, with the plus version, you can enable the autofocus feature, which automatically sets top to dos as your main focus, which is the one big task for the day displayed on the screen. You see why I really like the Momentum Chrome extension. The to-do list feature ensures that you have a clear overview of your tasks, different views on your timings, and the time pushes your efficiency, while the inspiring quotes provide a dose of motivation when you need it most. Both apps, Blogsite and Momentum, have a feature called Focus Mode or Autofocus that can be extremely powerful. Not only do such specific productivity apps have this feature, but also your phone does. So watch this video next, where I will show you how you can activate this and other powerful features to turn your phone into a real productivity machine.